was talking a bit earlier about concern for supply chain. I think that might have been... So did you, so yeah, in you terms of con in construction space, I think that's... Right. Um, just, so just I talk mentioned. us through your concern there. Um, look, what, what the um, evidence is that we have in Western Australia is that for construction projects, we have a shortage of, of equipment and also a shortage of um, skilled staff, um, probably because of um, a variety of reasons, you know, supply from overseas as a start, but also skills probably because of our hard border. Um, and I think that would cause problems down the line in terms of performance of contracts, especially with certain timeframes that have been agreed to. Um, naturally, most of these things would be outside the contracting party's control. So I, I do see a bit of a problem there um, in terms of delays and, and claims that would follow from that. Okay. Well, that's interesting that Hector says that, and he's from uh, he's from West Australia, which may as well be on another planet at the moment. You've got nothing like uh, what the rest of us are going through. What, what about uh, someone from the East Coast? I mean, we've had, you know, in, in, in Sydney, you know, we haven't even been able to get tradies on site in some instances. They're, they're letting the tradies loose just a little bit in a restricted basis. But I, I wonder whether or not that's got the same sort of issues. Does anyone want to pick up that, that line of thinking? I think it was actually me, Nick, that yeah. raised that yeah. before we started uh, talking. And uh, there's a couple of examples which I, I've been involved in. One is um, just, I mean, you think about trying to get a new car at the moment is impossible. Um, freight, cro freight costs getting stuck into Australia is increased, um, I think, about tenfold from what it used to be in terms of how much you'd pay, you'd pay for it to get a container to the country. Um, I love riding my bicycles and my bike mechanic tells me that he can't get bike frames, he can't get bike parts. Um, he, he, he foresees, a, you know, in two or three months' time where they won't actually be able to sell any new, new bikes or um, build them up because they won't have the parts. You can't get timber on building sites. Um, I, I just think this whole supply chain issue is, is, a, is a big issue. I think it's going to start to bite soon um, where you simply cannot, as a business, get the product that you normally want to supply um, into the country or at a reasonable cost. So I think that's something we need to watch. So you're seeing that as uh, people not having goodies on the shelves, whatever those shelves might be, uh, whereas Hector's sort of seeing it as a bit of a threat to uh, ability to perform, I think, if I'm hearing yeah, you correctly. Yeah, a bit of both, isn't it? Yeah. But a bit of both. A bit of both.